What up guys, uh, today I just want to talk about my go-to shoe um, for the lifestyle that I lead. Um, people could call that crossfitter, uh, tactical fitness, uh, being prepped, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the things that I like to do with my life, the type of training that I like to do, uh, usually means I end up on the range uh, or hiking or uh, in the gym every week. So uh, I just want to talk a little bit about my go-to shoe. That would be the Vans MTE High. Uh, they do make a low. Uh, I don't want to talk about that in this video. I'm just going to talk about the high because that's what most of my experience has been with thus far. Uh, for the last year, I've been trying to figure out how to, um, or what shoe, I should say, that's going to give me the best of everything that I need. Maybe not perfect for one thing, but uh, does everything fairly well. Okay, uh, and for me, that's been this shoe. Uh, it's been the last year, like I said, and uh, this is what it looks like. The box. I got a brand new pair here because I have a few pairs. Um, I usually just wear one at a time and then only start to wear down, which uh, takes a long time because I actually still have all of them in perfect condition. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I have a few for the rotation. This is actually um, a brand new pair of the green ones. And uh, this is what the bottom of the shoe looks like. All right. some of these laces okay so a couple of things here uh, there's workout shoes there's hiking shoes uh, you could argue hiking shoes and range shoes would be the same maybe different um, and then there's casual everyday shoes uh, for a long time probably most of my life the Converse uh, classic high top the Chuck Taylor that's been my go-to shoe whether I've been super heavy and fat and out of shape or the best shape of my life that's been the shoe that I walk around in outside the gym and also use inside the gym I've also used a lot of CrossFit shoes Noble uh, all the Reebok variations up to the last couple years and the Nike Metcon um, the reason why I say all this is because that's all going to play a role in my decision making for what shoe I use. Um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about the Solomons, um, the mids and the lows. The lows are the ones that I usually like to run. I'll show you guys uh, what those look like right now. So um, these are the Solomons that I personally love to use on the range. Uh, these are low tops. Kind of tell the bottom of the shoe. It's got a lot of grip. Uh, the way it's built, um, I can move around really well on these. They're very comfortable. Uh, it's the type of lace system that it has here. Let's see if I can focus in on that. So you just pull on these, All right? Anyway, uh, the point is that I really like these shoes a lot. Uh, they've never failed me on the range, whether it's rain or mud or just dry heat, Las Vegas desert, uh, mountains in California. Doesn't really matter. These have always done really well for me. Uh, my problem with these are these are one of the most popular uh, go-to shoes for the tactical athlete, the operator, or the civilian that loves T-Rex arms, and whatever, the prepper. Um, this is the go-to shoe. And thanks to the terminal list, um, this is even more <laughs> the go-to shoe. And uh, I don't know about you, but um, if I'm carrying every day, I don't really want to like scream at everybody that like, hey, I am running Solomon shoes and um, I can either be a dad who likes to hike or I can be the guy that's carrying. Um, I do like to wear fanny packs when I'm at the gym and stuff like that, so that might even look even worse. I don't know, so I actually have no issues with the Solomon. Um, I only switched because of that reason. I don't like to get identified, okay? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Chuck Taylor now. Everybody knows what this is, right? 
My favorite shoe of all time. I'm always gonna have them. I have so many pairs of these. Um, but if you've ever been on gravel, on rocks, out in the dirt, on the outdoor range, uh, you know that the bottom of these are pretty thin and they might be awesome for deadlifting or squatting if you have great mobility, but uh, they're not so hot in outdoors environments uh, when you're on the range or like I said, hiking, things of that nature. So as much as I love these, um, I use them a lot less now, right? For that reason. And then we have the classic CrossFit shoe, right? So these are Nike Metcons. This is a CrossFit functional fitness shoe, whatever. Uh, as you can tell, it's got kind of a squatting type uh, heel. It's, uh, it's pretty much just a gym shoe. I wouldn't even say this is a great walking shoe. It's got a hard heel. Uh, it's not great on my feet. My feet aren't perfect. Um, it's definitely not fun to do anything other than CrossFit inside of a gym and a relatively small space. Uh, I don't like running in these shoes. They fucking suck. They are not great for walking at all. Like I said, uh, they hurt. They have a stiff heel for squatting and deadlifts like they're supposed to for Olympic weightlifting. Um, and things like this that help you for rope climbs. But um, there's a lot of cons to this, right? Um, I can achieve most of this with most of what this does with Converse um, and not have to change how my feet feel and all these different shoes, right? Um, so that's why I no longer wear CrossFit shoes. And going back to the Vans MTE High, which again, they have the low and the high. I just prefer the high. Um, the sole on this, I'd say is fairly comparable to a mixture of the CrossFit shoe, CrossFit style shoe, and uh, the Solomons, which again, Solomons, they're so great. I just, for those reasons, I can't use them. Uh, Vans also has kind of the same, um, the same um, reputation as like a Converse, like Vans, Converse, uh, they're both kind of just like a casual shoe company. Either you skate or maybe you just like casual shoes. I mean, you can pretty much go to any city, any state. I've traveled a lot in the US and uh, I always see Vans everywhere. It doesn't matter. So with that being said, that, that means anybody could be wearing Vans. You could just be a younger person, a high school, college kid, an older guy who just has always loved Vans because they've been around that long. Um, and this has that classic Vans look right especially the black ones with the white and gum bottom sole uh, those ones are my favorite ones those ones really have a classic look I like to wear jeans most of the time I don't like to wear shorts that often so the high tops is what I go to and on top of that I've actually done a lot of stuff that your average person wouldn't do in their day-to-day -day shoe um, including backpacking uh, hiking trips in really cold weather snowy weather rainy weather uh, and also a lot of desert stuff, like I said, in Vegas and California. Um, and this is held up to all of it. Um, I've stepped in full on creeks, submerged the whole shoe. I, I've stepped in half of like, you know, one inch, two inch tall creeks. And uh, I've done this while being with people in Solomon's and these have held up for the most, the majority of the time um, in comparison to Solomon's. I've never actually had issues with this shoe, not once, um, in, in terms of performance. I'm in the gym with these shoes all the time. I'm sure I look fucking weird wearing fucking high top, what looks like hiking shoe Vans. But I've been doing uh, functional fitness for eight years now. And uh, I do squats, deadlifts, running, sled, all the good stuff. And uh, I've never had issues with mobility with these shoes, never had issues with having to do burpees and sprinting and uh, multi-directional movements, um, athletic stuff, I've never had any issues. Maybe it's just me and the way my body's built, I know some things are based like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Uh, the price point on this thing is about $100 to $130. You can definitely find them consistently under $100 because there's some colorways people just don't like. So I guess it just depends on uh, what you're looking for in your shoe. I mean, I'm not a shoe salesman, but um, if 
finding a shoe that uh, aligns with my lifestyle is definitely was challenging. Um, I actually didn't find this shoe on my own. Um, I seen uh, a few of my buddies on the range use it, uh, some people I respect. So yeah, it depends on um, what lifestyle you lead. Um, I know that me personally, I'm totally into you know the, the Pew Pew community, uh, the tactical stuff, uh, the prep stuff. So with that being said, um, I was just at the UFC fight uh, in Utah in Salt Lake um, this past week and uh, I seen somebody wearing an archaic hard shell jacket and, uh, or archaic, an arteric, excuse me, hard shell jacket, uh, some Solomons just like the ones I just showed you and a field craft hat and uh, just walking around Salt Lake and I was just like, bro, like tell me what you're doing without telling me what you're doing. You know what I mean? So uh, I don't know about you guys, but if you conceal carry, I don't think that's the goal to announce to everybody that that's what you're doing. Um, might as well open carry at that point. Uh, that's just something that how, that's just something that I think about. That's how I feel about it. Uh, so with that being said, I wanted to find a different option uh, to lead the lifestyle that I lead um, without screaming, you know, hey, this is the type of person that I am, right? Um, so the Vans MTE High is what I've been running with for the last year. A few different ones. I honestly could be running the same pair over and over again for the last year and have no issues. But I mean, it got to the point to where I started wearing one just for the dirt ranges, one just for hiking, and one just for casual, just so I have some self-respect <laughs> and don't run around with like muddy shoes. Uh, but it's done everything. I've been in the snow, in the dirt, desert, uh, mountains, all of it. And uh, with all the fitness stuff I've done, all the running and gunning, everything. I've ran miles in these shoes. Uh, it's not the best at anything, but like I said, I can accomplish everything with this shoe. So I really wanted to, uh, I don't know, I guess let other people know what I'm using because I really feel like it's slept on. I get people asking me all the time, hey, what shoes are those in that video? And uh, it's just because I've been working on this review that I haven't really talked about it more, even though I let people know what they are. Um, I just don't think a lot of people or enough people know about it. Um, will that someday bite me in the ass um, where it just becomes like a tactical shoe? Maybe, I don't know. I doubt it. Vans is such a massive company that uh, I don't see that happening. They're, they're too casual and the naked eye wouldn't know the difference between a regular Vans and MTE. So I'd definitely go check it out if I were you guys. Like I said, they're like $100, $130 and I've found them consistently for like $80 depending on what websites you go to. But uh, if you're looking for something to hit the gym, uh, to hit the range, to go hiking, like I said, they survived backpacking over a weekend just fine. Um, nothing too extreme, but being in the snow, um, they, they do pretty well with like being water resistant. Uh, and they're comfortable, man. That's just my take on it, but I'd check it out if I were you guys.